My wife Sasha turned 30 a few days ago and I wanted to shoot a new portrait of her, so I thought it would be a good idea to test the new AirDirect from Tether Tools. Uh, the AirDirect is basically a wireless solution to tether your camera to your computer, so you can uh, transfer those photos as you should. So let's first quickly what's in the box. Basically have the AirDirect a remote, a battery, bunch of USB cables for all the type of um, cameras that you may have. Uh, since I'm using today uh, EOS R from Canon, I'm going to be using USB-C to USB-C. So how AirDirect works? Basically, this you connect this to your camera, you put the, obviously the battery, um, and it's using a standard Canon camera battery, so you have plenty of them if you shoot Canon, otherwise they're very cheap on Amazon or any other store. Um, so you connect this trigger or this remote to your camera, you attach it on the cold shoe and the camera onto the side, and I'll show you just a second. This little device creates a hotspot that your computer connects to, and then uh, you run a separate application on your, on your computer to basically uh, the computer and the, the camera talk to each other. And then you can, do, you can use whatever tethering software you want, whether it's Capture One, Lightroom, or any other software uh, for tethering. And this is basically seamless because of this little device. So let's see how we're going to connect this to the camera first. So if you're going to be using natural light, basically you just put this on top of your camera, plug in the cable, and you're all set. In the studio, if you're outside but you're using strobe and you need, a, you need a trigger, which goes obviously on your hot shoe, then you need some kind of device uh, where you're going to attach this remote on the side of the, uh, on the camera. So in our case, we're using the Pro Media Gear L bracket. That's so uh, those are one of the best L brackets on the market right now. Uh, we also, um, using the, uh, an attachment from Tether Tools, which attached to, uh, Arca Swiss standard with a cold shoe attachment. And I'll provide the link to both of these, uh, in the description of this video so you can check them out. So let's attach this. Uh, remote to the side of the L bracket and screw it in. I plug in the cable now to the camera and it's all set. So this is basically how the setup on my camera will look. Um, this will create uh, a hotspot and then the laptop will have to connect to that Wi-Fi. Uh, it's very simple. It's called AirDirect so you know right away which Wi-Fi uh, is you have to connect to. And then you run the application the, uh, on the computer and that's it. And then you can start tethering. Okay. Okay. So now my camera is connected to the laptop. The laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, so basically I'm ready to shoot. So I just need a 30 year old wife. So Sasha, come over here. <laughs> okay. So before I take Sasha's portion, let me just tell you quickly how is our light setup today. Uh, I'm using um, a Rapidbox Okta XXL from Westcott That's the main light. Uh, I have a whiteboard reflector on the right side. Uh, behind Sasha, I have a Savage canvas uh, backdrop. And then right behind me, or I guess here, I have um, a seven foot umbrella from Westcott as well with a front diffuser. And that's my on axis, on axis fill. So, um, I'm not going to be doing testing of how fast the, the wireless transferring uh, is with the Air Direct. It is a little bit slower the, than the, uh, the cable. It's about eight seconds per file in our case, but it also depends what kind of camera you're using. So this is more about giving you the flexibility to move around without the cable versus the speed. So if the speed is the most important part for you to for tether, this may not be the best solution. But if you want some freedom and just, you know, uh, those transfer those files as they go, this is a, actually a great way to do it because you don't have any cable to trip on. So before I start, let me give Sasha the uh, X-Ray Passport. And where's the X-Ray Passport? Okay, so we found the X-Ray Passport. <laughs> so Sasha is back, perfect. So. I'm just going to take um, a quick photo of Sasha with the XY8 passport. And usually that's, that's what I use um, as the first photo for the session. I just want to make sure that, uh, that I have the right, right colors. Uh, it's a little bit dark. So let me, 
me attach. I'm just gonna do the presets on Capture One from the previous photo. Uh, yeah, we may do it again, Sasha. Okay, one more time. Okay, here it is. Perfect. I'm gonna do one more time. Just make sure that I have the proper exposure and everything. Okay, and it's one, two, three, four seconds on, on this one. So it's actually not bad. So give me the X-ray passport. Okay, let's put it here. Um, and yeah, so, you know, as you shoot, there might be some buffer to, to change, I mean, to upload this photo to the computer, but you're not gonna lose those photos. So even if, you know, they, they're gonna eventually come out to your computer, this may not be super instant. I mean, I found it as between four to eight seconds. So, you know, in our case, it's actually, you know, not bad. Okay, Sasha. So get on the pose, just, um, just lean on this, perfect. I'm gonna do my fa fancy pose here, perfect. Look, uh, eyes on me on me from this one, perfect. Chin up a little bit more, perfect. And look like right here, fantastic. I'm gonna do vertical as well. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to Sasha this time. Perfect, and eyes on me on this one, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, landscape as well. And give me like a, the smallest smirk that you can give me this, the 30th uh, smirk. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. So these are, these photos are now coming to my, to my laptop. Um, as you can see, one by one. Um, so this is as easy as it is. I mean, I can move around and, and use this wireless, um, wireless system. I mean, this, this actually, the transfer of these files goes up to a few hundred feet. So you really, if you have a large, large space, a large space that you want to, uh, that you're shooting at, this is actually a good, good solution. Now, let's see what are the things that we like about it and maybe something that we may improve in the next or request to improve in the next version of AirDirect. Okay, so the, the best, I mean, the, the biggest pro of this system, obviously that it's a wireless system that transfers raw files uh, so there's not too many uh, alternatives to this, and it's actually pretty fast. It's, I mean, it's not as fast as the cable, but it's still for wireless system, this is pretty fast. Uh, so if you are in large spaces, uh, or if you want, uh, if you photograph children, and you're afraid that they're gonna be um, tripping over the cable, and you don't want you know, basically the risk of ripping this cable out of, you know, from your camera or from your laptop, this is a perfect solution. Now it's using also, as I mentioned before, a standard Canon camera. This is the, let me check what battery standard it is. This is the, the LP E6. So basically uh, the EOS R is using uh, this system, the 5Ds, 80Ds, 60Ds, so all the different Canon cameras, they're using this battery. So even if you run out of juice, you can either connect the power or just quickly replace with the battery that you have from your other cameras. Um, and then um, it's actually very simple to use and it's seamless on your laptop, on your computer, it's seamless to what tethering software you're using. So it's really, you know, the, the, the laptop basically sees this camera as if this camera was connected through a cable. So that's, that's a huge, huge pro for this whole system. Now, the couple of items that I think uh, are not, you know, there are situations where this may not be the perfect solution uh, but you know, so let, let me, let me actually talk about them. So first one, if you're in a situation where you need to transfer your files that you tether in, you know, to a private network or a network in a studio or upload right away to internet, this may not be the best solution. The reason is that your laptop is already uh, connected through Wi-Fi to your camera. And if you need to upload to an internet, uh, those files, well, you can't do it because you don't have internet connection right now. So um, also another uh, you know, situation, if you use like a pilot uh, from Capture One uh, to show to other people those photos as you should, that pilot works through your private networks that, that you're connected to. So again, if you connect it to the wireless system with the AirDirect, this solution will not work. So if you have those situations, you have to tether with a cable. Uh, two, you know, the, the form factor of this, uh, of this uh, remote, 
I wish it was a little bit narrower. So, you know, there's a lot of space on both sides. So I wish it was a little bit taller, but narrower and basically would fit, you know, uh, in different positions. Like for example, this uh, L bracket has also a cold shoe on top here. Let me show you here. But I cannot put it because this this uh, this remote is too wide and it's basically hitting the trigger from Profoto. So so I wish you know if the form factor was a little bit different, maybe it will be able to put in different places. Um, because I need to attach this uh, the the remote on the side here. If I should want to shoot on a tripod vertically, I have very little space to connect uh, my tripod here. So that's another challenge that maybe uh, you know, with the next version will be improved and. Since this is uh, a wireless system, of course, it's a little bit slower than your uh, tether through cable, uh, but then, you know, it's, it's not significant. So overall, it's a great product. I think, you know, we, we may be using, especially when we photograph families, uh, it may not be the right solution when we photograph uh, at conferences when we need to upload headshots or any like files right away to the internet. But for our studio, when I photograph, for example, Sasha or anybody else that will be in the spot, this wireless uh, Air Direct is actually a pretty cool solution. So uh, let me know if you're already using it or if you have any questions about this or the attachments, you know, the whole uh, rig that we have here. Leave me a comment below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget you know, to, um, uh, to subscribe. And if you, know, if you want to be notified, to hit the bell. Uh, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for the best photo ever. Catch me, catch me. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> Ha! <laughs> <laughs>